Good morning, folks. You're seeing bright umbral field loops connecting positive sunspot umbras to negative sunspot umbras. This is the large active region we've seen dance across the southern Earth-facing solar hemisphere without any significant flaring. Reports of type 3 radio bursts have been numerous, but still, no flaring to speak of, and that's unlikely to change as it holds magnetic form and departs the disk today. So there really is no surprise when we come to space weather news and see that X-ray flaring resembles the sun with no sunspots at all. But what it lacks in sunspots, it makes up for in plasma filaments. The eruption threats are these thin dark ropes that look jittery as they slide around the corona. We have them on the south. We have a big one center disk out ahead of the corona hole dark patch. Don't confuse the two. And we also have them on the north. If you check the sun yourself today, you'll find more of them coming over the limb. The solar wind has been neither calm nor significant, kind of middle of the road, while gamma bursts come alive after 10 days of quiet from the Sagittarius constellation. Although it is still under construction, I might head over to quakewatch.net and just peek around. That's quakewatch.net. Observers will recognize what's going on there with a quite familiar design. Anyway, seismicity to remain high with this corona hole facing Earth and the Venus conjunction just days away. We saw the Hindu Kush region of Afghanistan rumble well above average, and that's even with the potential downgrade from magnitude 6 range. Enough there on the list to at least be suspicious. Top stories. You likely heard about the Animus River turning yellow because of our government cleanup efforts backfiring. Well, the release of wastewater is far worse than they expected. It will linger for years, and it's heading for the Grand Canyon. Terrific article about fire delta year over year. Canada, Russia, and Indonesia, way above average this year. If anyone out there favors the great expansion or great cooling demise of the universe theory, this article is for you, showing the death of light in our existence. I'll also share a weather.com piece on why we have so few hurricanes in the Atlantic. They are blaming short-term confluence of factors like dry air and heavy wind shear in the Gulf and Caribbean. But I haven't even seen them wanting to form off Africa, and this has been a decade of major hurricane drought over there except for those that now want to come visit the northeastern states. I think something bigger is happening, but that's just an opinion. Hawaii has skirted effect from three straight storms, but not this one. She's heading at the Big Island now. The bad storms in the U.S. last night tended to follow the convergence line here where air masses from the north and south meet, shifting focus a bit in Europe because sometimes the heat of the Mediterranean provides the worst storms, and that's likely to happen tonight. Down under, it may look like we've got a lot going on with the bends to the wind in southern Australia, but high pressure has the area well cleared. Featured public content today is our video called The Sun is Going to Sleep. You can Google it or find the links on this page. Members, try to catch up on whatever portion of the content needs catching up. If not the regular postings, maybe dig a bit through our established and longer term series found by scrolling down below them. And of course, folks, our conferences are in October in Pittsburgh, Phoenix in January. Pre-registration discount for Phoenix goes until the end of the month. We've got shots of our star to close. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.